name is John C. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Um. A little bit. Give the weather. Oh, and that's so excited, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good day. Yeah, I could hear you. You're just a little bit laggy. But now I cannot hear you. Hello, hello. And now I can hear you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, not a good day. Not a good day. But fortunately, you are there to brighten up my day a little bit. <sighs> ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you Just have a little a... bit right? Me and my lights. You a light. Do you have a pen, Charmaine? Yes, I have a pen. Oh, amazing. So why? I want you to do me a favor. I want you to I want you to uh erase your past and write down our future together. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Joe Wilson. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You've got me blushing now and it's not even been two minutes. <laughs> I deserve a Very, very smart. You just I you deserve, deserve a star. Ding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of quirky and a bit corny as well. I like oh. it. <laughs> and, <don't, laughs> and I'm pretty sure you didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh, of course not. That was literally the last thing I saw coming. I'm like, how do you erase a pen? Oh, wait, I get it now. <laughs> you know, my my uncle, actually, he taught me some pickup lines. So that's ah. why I'm here, like, <laughs> throwing things at you. <laughs> Clearly, he's been guiding you in the correct decision. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've heard. I've heard that you were suffering from kidney stones. Not really. Why? Because your body rocks. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Joelson. <laughs> I don't yeah, even know yeah. what to say back to that. I'm just <laughs> blushing even more. <laughs> You've got me at a loss for words over here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll stop it right now because I don't wanna <laughs> I don't want that to feel like so embarrassed. <laughs> it's okay. A little bit of blood pressure never hurt anybody. <laughs> So how is maybe your, some people? How was your moving? You how was your moving process coming along? Not yet, not yet. Not yet. No, only the end of the month. So still one more week of me being here, oh. and then I will start packing and leave next week, either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, if everything goes well. Yeah, because um. I saw on your Instagram that you kind of say you said goodbye to to your school, right? Yes, I had my last day on Friday. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was a little bit sad, I guess. I mean, it's been something I've been doing now for almost four years. This okay. would have been the fourth year, but, you know, I need to go and fight some people <laughs> yeah exactly exactly and i'm so excited to see you like in the middle of the how do you call it? the ring in the ring yeah ring. i also am excited but i need to train very hard first i believe you shaman i believe you oh, thank you joe wilson uh, maybe you can be the ring boy for my fights <laughs> <laughs> no, I would love to be your um, sparing fighter. Sparring partner. Partner, Wait. partner, yeah. Are you sure you want to be my sparring partner? 
Look, look at my muscles. I, 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 I can. Ooh, <laughs> I definitely Yours can. <laughs> I definitely can, uh, like, get your punches and, and kicks <laughs> and elbows and, <laughs> and stuff. And one more, one more, one more. The knees. <laughs> oh, the knees. 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 Yeah, don't forget the knees. Uh, it's very important in a clinch to grab your opponent's head and to knee them in the face. <laughs> well, come to think of it, uh, I think I would pass. You know, I would decline this no. in this case. <laughs> Probably, I don't want. That's wanna... the most fun part. Clinching. I don't want to <laughs> get my my big body like totally destroyed. <laughs> you won't be destroyed. I'm pretty sure I will have more blue bruises than you. Oh. <laughs> I bruise quite easily. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. I don't know. Have I ever shown you what I looked like after the fight where I lost? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not quite. I, I don't think you, you haven't showed me yet this. Ah, do you want to see? My face looked so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I had my face was swollen and blue bruises everywhere. I can show you. What? Oh my <laughs> God, Charmin. <laughs> it was so swollen. <laughs> <laughs> But at least my face was on this board. It was like so cool. There I am. Yay! When was the when was the, the this fight? Oh, that was before COVID. Before Since COVID. COVID, my camp closed and fights have stopped. So it's only occurring in the tourist places like Phuket, Bangkok. What kind of tractor is that? I hate. <laughs> Hate those freaking trucks. <laughs> I, I think um, I have never asked you this question before, but yeah. how did you end up moving to Thai? Well, I decided originally to move here in order to become a teacher, to gain experience, to ultimately go to South Korea to be a teacher. Oh, South but, Korea. <laughs> yeah. I have been there for a holiday before, very beautiful, really, really, really loved every moment of it and cried when I had to leave. It was the first place I visited where I was crying because I did not want to leave. Okay, I got you. <laughs> but when I came back to Thailand and started doing Muay Thai, I kind of decided it's okay, I can stay in Thailand now. Because <laughs> in South Korea, they don't have Muay Thai. <laughs> so, wait, you visited um, South Korea just for uh, tourism purpose? Yes. Yes, and just then, for a holiday. Just for a holiday. And then you went to visit Thai just for a holiday too? No, I moved to Thailand. Oh, you moved and to Thailand. Yes, because in Korea, you need experience as a teacher working at a school before they employ you to work at a school. But what, I mean, why Thai? What, what made you to move to, to Thai? Kind of have this like epiphany awakening, like, oh my gosh, I want to, <laughs> I want to leave and move to Thai. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friend might have had something to do with it. I was working in Grand Cayman. Maybe you know of it. Grand Cayman uh, Island. Yes. In the Caribbean. And my friend who was working with me at the place where I used to work, which is not as a teacher, but as an institution, she told me she had the most life-changing experience when she came to Thailand and she found out who she wanted to be in Thailand. And she said, if I go there, I'm going to end up falling in love with the place. And I came here and I really did not like it. It was too hot. 
I was sweating. I didn't understand anybody. But then there became Muay Thai. And now I love it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm asking you about it because uh, I had some regular tours here. And yeah. they also mentioned about living, living in Thai. So that's why I'm like asking, what is the, the big deal about Thai, you know? Probably because the biggest I, deal is very cheap. It's very, very affordable. Cheap. Okay. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Like well, right now, I stay in a four four bedroom. Well, not four bedroom. There's four rooms and a bathroom, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's a hundred and twenty dollars per month. Oh my gosh! Maybe I think I uh, I should consider like move to Thai too. <laughs> Maybe you should. You are more than welcome to. I'm sure yeah, you'll I, enjoy it. Summer year get, long. But I need to get paid in dollars though, so so that I can live <laughs> comfortably. <laughs> you can work online or you can also become a teacher like most foreigners in Thailand. Do you think I can teach English? Oh my gosh. I've you never, never actually know until you try. Yeah, don't knock it until you try, right? <laughs> There are non-native speakers who are also teaching English. You just won't be placed in a very high-paying position. Yeah, I know. I mean, uh, there are plenty, plenty of good Brazilians that yeah. teach English here. But I think, I don't know, I think teaching, it's probably, uh, I am wrong, but it's my perspective. I feel like sometimes it's more a vocation, you know? You kind of have to be like this, really passionate about it. Uh, I that mean, is I don't... true in a sense as well. If you don't have a passion for in bright, yeah. like enlightening other people and sharing knowledge, then it might not be a job that you'll enjoy. Yeah, exactly. Also, I... since you like fitness, you could always work at a gym. <laughs> Probably, like, yeah. <laughs> I can you have sound like... so uncertain. You're like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, I did not say that. Yeah, I, I kind of have uh, the both of good words, like uh, exercising while I am working. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Your work would be to be exercising then. <laughs> But yeah. maybe the best advice I could give you, Joe Wilson, is to come here for a holiday first. Yeah, I, I, yeah, for it, sure. It's a culture cool. shock. Totally, totally, uh, yeah. Especially because of the, you know, like this um, religious part that they have Not inside. so much, actually. Not so much. Really? Not so much. For me... It is way, way more the language barrier that was the shock. No, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. For sure. That would be like, whoa. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was the worst part for me. I mean, and the way that people live here are very different from what I'm used to. They can just, like, put a tarp outside on the kind of a dirty floor and just sit down and have lunch and it's quite normal for them where in south africa you'd want to be at a table eating lunch but you get used to it after a while <laughs> so yeah. much so that you start doing it too <laughs> no <laughs> hey guys let's have lunch right here <laughs> oh my god it's an yeah. adjustment, Jolson. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are running out of time. Jermaine, it was oh. uh, was amazing conversation that we had today. I'm sorry about my pickup lines. Hopefully, you it's didn't... no problem. <laughs> you didn't took them a miss. You are just for entertainment. Entertainment. I took them into Before. my heart. Oh, lovely, lovely. <laughs> and thank you so much for sharing things about Thai. I'm so interested in learning learning things about other cultures in other places thank countries. you for so, asking Joe Wilson. hopefully we're gonna have more 
uh, details to share in our next conversation. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>